What's up dudes and dudettes, welcome back, this is the one and only crypto enthusiast Lightlager here and today I'm gonna be doing a video about Nix. And Nix is a proof of stake slash masternode coin that has a lot of privacy capabilities and also is supporting smart contracts. And that is something that you don't really see that much with a lot of the other masternode competition, like maybe 1% less than that actually has have smart contract capabilities and there's a lot of other things that Nix is doing that makes them special a lot of proprietary technology so to speak which one of them we're gonna be focusing in this video and I promise to do a lot more uh, in-depth look into Nix and its capabilities supply the markets and everything like that like I did with my other altcoin overview series videos and that will come on a later day but today I want to talk about one of the features that is very unique and interesting that Nix has developed through a smart contract and this is called LPOS, Least Proof of Stake. And it basically allows you to lease your coins to another person and they will stake it for you in exchange for a fee. But the money is basically locked into a smart contract so they just can't run away with the money. And this is a very good capability because I've done many videos about a masternode shared proof of stake services and you kind of have to trust them not to do exit scam or even if they don't do an exit scam they might get hacked and you lose all your funds in a one go like that. I think in future these type of leased systems, coins locked in a smart contract and delegated proof of stake obviously are going to become a lot more popular because people want to have the capability of staking and using masternode services without having their own computer on or they just don't have the money to buy a VPS. They can give me many reasons why they don't want to do that. So for many people like me, the least proof of stake is actually an option. So let's first off uh, look into the website where we can actually find these contracts. So anybody can basically offer a contract uh, through Nix to uh, start leasing. So this can be a profitable business, but obviously there are competition in the market, so you might have to give a very low fee uh, in order to compete or make something else happen to kind of like support the idea. Like you maybe give uh, half the money to charity or into development or whatever. And basically when you go into resources tab, you find the marketplace and I have it already opened here. By the way, they actually have kind of nice merch on their website, so I definitely want to check their a lot of their designs out. I like their logo, by the way, a lot. Branding is very important when it comes to coins, remember that. Bitcoin is just a logo, guys, remember that. It's just a successful branding story. It's like Adidas of crypto, and it doesn't really have any technical feats that makes it amazing. It's just the logo. But moving on, basically right now there are seven different services, and all of them have different fees. And we could also assume that maybe the ones that are asking 10% fee maybe have a bit more better systems in place to prevent from any type of off time. I think most of them are basically saying that, okay, we're going to be 100% time up. And we're going to be, I already have created and this is the UI wallet so you can do the L pass in two different wallets the GUI wallet and the QT wallet their new wallet that they have been designing flare wallet doesn't yet support the L pass I think it will in future which will be very convenient for me because I kind of don't like a single wallet coins I kind of like multi coin wallets that's just me but if the project is very good I'm gonna give it a pass like Nix so basically go to the staking tab and here's the in-wallet staking. So obviously you can stake with the wallet itself, but maybe you don't want to have computer on 24-7 or whatever may be the reason. Uh, there's the lease staking. And here I have already like did a test uh, leasing and you can actually, you know, can break it at any point. However, once you create the contract, it needs 200 transaction confirmations. So here we have the actual, it has 35 confirmations. So the staking hasn't gone live yet. And obviously you have to kind of stake a lot amount to actually get even daily rewards. But obviously more you stake, the odds start to increase over time. And so we're going to be creating a new contract and by here, new leasing contract. And we're going to be choosing one of the people who actually helped me to do it uh, originally. And this guy has only a 5% fee. So Beaker has done a pretty good deal here. Minimum fees, maximum returns. Uh, this is basically the thing. And all you have to do is, as I said, there's QT wallet and GUI wallet, whatever you want to call it. And here you can basically create a contract. There's two types of contracts. There's a batch 32 and then there's the normal one, SegWit. 
And the difference between the batch 32 is basically this is for governance voting. So you basically vote on the system. If you're not going to be planning to vote, please don't use this one. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be uh, copying these details. So first of all, we're going to go open up and we're going to be moving this here. So we're going to be copying all these details here. So provider details. I don't think everybody requires to put this, but this is something that you want to put there. So you have an idea that, well, what is this contract for? And as I said, you just one click and they're basically destroyed. This is the address for the staking. There's two addresses that we will be basically getting here. Um, one is for the rewards and one is for the fee. And this is an under contract uh, description. Oh shit. Okay, we have to <laughs> write everything again. Sorry about that, guys. Sleepy fingers. You know, stage performance, even when recording videos can be kind of tricky. And make sure the fee, the fee is obviously the one that is stated. You can't just put one there because the fee that they are saying, it's 5%, guys. So it's 5%. You put five here. And then we're going to copy the last number here. And as it says here, 200 confirmations. Uh, you have to do the confirmations again, obviously, when you end the contract. And we just hit next here. And we're going to be letting, putting pretty much everyone, everything here, all the small amounts that I have. You enter your password, create contract, and okay, it says inefficient funds. Let's try another number. Why is it 75? Oh yeah, because it's, um, yeah, those funds are, so it's 14 minus. So this is something that they got to fix in the future. Let's say 60 because it's, I already have 14.9 staked out in the process. And now we can see the one here already. So make sure that you count the previous least amounts. This is something that they have to update on the wallet, obviously to tell you that uh, th this is the amount. And now basically we go to the transactions tab and we can see here the actual thing and it's processing still. There's confirmations for uh, that one too. So that's how easy it is to do the LPOS contract. Basically the money, what you will be getting through staking will be locked in the contract. And once you release the contract, you will get the funds that you re received through the staking and also the locked amount. And that's how easy it is to basically use the LPA system of Nix. This is how easy it should be basically when you do these contracts in, in general, okay? Because that's how you get to mass adoption. Nobody is going to be uh, getting a coin that it kind of be like put into a mobile phone or kind of be done a simple way. Like, I mean, staking normally is easy, but nobody wants to keep the program on 24 seven, especially if they have multiple wallets where they're staking. So uh, LPOS is the future. It's a great technology. And it is one of the things that makes Nix a really special project. But thanks for watching for this video. Make sure to tip me some Nix if you like this video. And obviously check out my other videos on the channel. And I will be in future doing that full review on Nix. And also want to review their Flare wallet once it gets more updates. That is looking a very promising project as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.